So I'm going to call up Adam, who's the CEO of AdWallet, as he sets up his PowerPoint. <laughs> Thank you. Um, those of you that know me know I've never done anything in six minutes, so this is going to be the fastest you've ever seen me present something. Um, AdWallet is born out of this basic idea. Uh, currently, the average American sees about 5,000 brand messages a day. That doesn't mean you see ads, it just means everywhere we look today, you can see ad wallet, fossil on my watch, coach on her purse, ad, 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 ad. But the real question is how many are we seeing? Our brains can't really process all of that information. So really what it's become is white noise, right? Ads have become just kind of, I don't know, they're all around, but I don't really pay attention to any of them. But they all cost money. A little bit about me, uh, for the last 11 years, I was the executive creative director and a principal at Esparza Advertising. This is the second largest agency in New Mexico. Uh, and uh, frankly, one of the best agencies in the Southwest, according to my, in my opinion. Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful job as their executive creative director. I literally went to work in a fun house. I was paid extremely well. I had the job that most people really, really want. And so when Mayor Mary talks about taking a leap and you know, uh, you know, going out on your own and you know, taking a risk, uh, for me, I was not you know, part of the serial entrepreneur. I wasn't 22, selling magazines and hustling you know, you know, different schemes to make a buck. I really wasn't that guy. I was like, I'll work for someone and they can pay me plenty of money and I'll hopefully make them successful. But then, um, and then of course in my life, in this fancy life, we would have a lot of fancy dinners uh, with clients. And about eight months ago, I had a dinner I'll never forget with a client. We were in Chicago, it was one of our largest clients in Esparza, and we were having a very, very fancy dinner, and a client turned to us and said, you know, uh, I I'm kind of worried because I'm starting to fear that no matter what we do, no one's paying attention to our ads. No matter how much money we spend, no matter what we do, because really it's based on, I started, you know, I started asking around the office, our office, and everyone says they, they DVR the, the, the TV shows and they skip all the commercials. Uh, they have ad blockers on their website, so they literally come up as gray boxes. They pay a little extra money on Pandora or Spotify not to get ads. Pretty much everyone I asked said they're doing pretty much everything they can to not pay attention to an ad. And so I'm very concerned about our ad budget, and no matter what you guys do, no matter how smart you are, no matter how creative you are, Adam, if someone's going to skip the ad, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we spend $100 million, you're skipping the ad. And that, of course, made me think quite a bit about this screen that I saw about two days later. The only thing people watch is the skip button. How, raise your hands if you think that's true. <laughs> no advertising person would ever admit that to you, right? Because remember my fancy life? This is going right in the heart of it. So I realized, I kind of had an epiphany because when I saw this I realized, oh my gosh, I do that. And I make my really great living making ads. This stuff pays me and my kid to go to you know, fancy schools and my beautiful house, and that's true. And if I'm doing it, I'm the last person. If I'm doing it, everyone in this room, I'm sure, is doing it. How many people are skipping ads on TV? The latest survey, 86% of ads are being skipped on television. 86%. That's an incredible amount. And so in the advertising world, what's moved to our clients to say is, well, yeah, you know, TV and radio and print, the classic media, you're still good for getting the word out. But this is where the heart of it is, right? You know, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter. This is where the kids are at. This is where we can target things. This is where, you know, the wave of the future, right? And all these systems are based on the same thing. If I put my ad on you, you'll get the attention of hopefully who I need to get the attention of. The problem is with digital, it's even worse than digital. 90% of ads are skipped in digital. And when you think about it, it makes complete sense. They're digital. It's pretty easy to click away something. That's where you see skip this in five seconds. I can't blow up an outdoor board, but I can surely block an ad in, in digital. So it's pervasive in every single ad system in the world. Of course, if you're lucky, like some of us in this room, you have a little extra money, a little extra means, you might even pay a little extra money in a, a month to get rid of ads on Netflix, on Hulu, on Spotify, anywhere you can. It's a pain point and you want it gone. The problem is everybody on the other side of the fence is paying for you to, to see those ads, and really that money is going to pay for these systems. Well, advertisers are starting to get a little tired of that. These were the five questions as a creative director I was starting to get very uncomfortable feelings when my clients would ask. Hey, how do I pay for ads that hit my target? How do I know if they actually saw my ad? I have no idea. Want me to go to their house and like make sure they actually paid attention when the ad came on? How do I know if they actually paid attention? No way of knowing. No system in the world does that. How do I know if they actually did anything after seeing my ad, right? That's the ultimate question for an advertiser. I'll pay all this money if they come in and they buy something, but how do I know the ad did that? Or was it a friend? 
Or was it some other reason? Or did they just suddenly pop in the market and never saw my ad? And finally, what's my return on the investment? I will spend $100,000 in advertising if you can promise me $150,000 in sales. Can't say yes to any of those. And as you might expect, that's a really bad day at my office. Any of you who are Mad Men fans, it's getting a little uncomfortable in the advertising world because those are fair questions. I don't care if you're a small business selling donuts or coffee or you're Microsoft. That's the same set of questions they have. So, uh, this led me on a bit of a vision quest in my own house. Uh, anyone who knows me knows I like to talk to myself. I'm not crazy. For some reason, I like to talk to myself. And I found myself in my house literally saying out loud one day in my office, how do I get someone to pay attention to an ad? How do I force someone to pay attention to an ad? If they're going to skip it before I even see my cool ad, how do I do that? How do I get someone to pay attention to the ad? And my wife, who was down the hall, all she heard, she yelled back, who do you want to pay for their attention? And that was sort of an aha moment for me. That actually all advertisers have been doing for the past hundred years is to pay other systems to get your attention. That's their only value to an advertiser. We're not interested in propping up television and making sure radio continues. It's you, I put my ad on your thing that other people are on looking at the TV show and maybe they'll pay attention to my thing. And we don't do that anymore. The only reason marketers spend billions of dollars on all of these systems is to get your attention. That's the only reason the systems even exist. Even Facebook, even Google. All of their money is from advertising. But nobody pays attention to ads. We can probably all agree, except one day a year I have a huge Super Bowl party at my house and everybody pays attention to the ads. But that, that's not an industry. That's just an anomaly at this point. What if instead of paying billions of dollars to advertising networks, all of that money could be just paid to us? Because in actuality, it's your attention we wanted. It's your attention that's valuable. Your, in fact, maybe the most valuable thing on the, in the planet right now is someone's attention. Just ask some of the biggest companies on the planet. So, what if, more specifically, we could all be paid 50 cents every single time we watched a commercial? That's the same money that an advertiser is spending with an advertiser to get you to watch a commercial, which you are not watching. What if we just gave it to you directly? That's what AdWallet is built out of. AdWallet, as you can see by our tagline, is about paid attention. Not paying attention. That's the entire advertising industry. Paid attention. Are you actually looking in, leaning in, understanding what we're telling you? And for that, we'll reward you. This is the entire advertising business right now, $500 billion. It's the seventh largest industry in the United States. It's all based on the same premise. Please pay attention. Pay attention while you're doing something else. We'll slip an ad in and hopefully you'll stake around for the ad. But really, you're there to listen to the song or to look at something online or to watch the TV show. All AdWallet is suggesting is that we move $500 billion to this premise, paid attention. Because those systems, while fantastic, are providing content. You should pay for their content. Just like when you go to a movie, you pay $9.90, 10, 12 bucks an hour to go to a movie. They're providing you content, you're paying for their service. What I'm suggesting with AdWallet is that paid, ad-supported ad, ad things are gonna go away. So this is how AdWallet works. Uh, you get a text every morning once you sign up for AdWallet on your phone. Hi Adam, you have one new ad in your AdWallet. So I get a text once a day, opens up my AdWallet. As you can see, there I am, I made $9.50 on my ad, watching 50 cents and pop for ads. I have a new ad. Since I only have six minutes, I'm only going to show you the ad. But this is an ad for Pampers, and all it is is babies making funny poop faces like they're about to poo. <laughs> At the end of the ad, I can skip that. At the end of the ad, every ad on Ad Wallet, you're asked a question. This is to prove you actually paid attention. You can't just let the ads play and fly by you and make money. Why were the babies making funny faces? They were tired, they were sick, or they had to poop. These are simple questions if you paid attention. <laughs> if you get the question wrong, all that happens on AdWallet is, I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. You have to watch that again. You gotta watch the same ad, you gotta get the same question. We're not trying to trick you, but this is the one thing we paid for is for you to take away from this piece of information. Yeah, we paid attention, so they had to poop. What did you think of this ad? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Telling an advertiser, whoa, whoa, we're running three ads. This one's rating great, this one's not. We're gonna pull that one and put more money in this one. Finally, you have a way of telling an advertiser, that ad sucked. Or, that ad's fantastic. Would you share this ad on Facebook or Twitter for an additional 25 cents? Hey, for an advertiser, more than happy to pay you 25 cents, you're gonna tell 700 of your Facebook friends, check out this cool ad I just saw on AdWallet today. You just literally just enhanced our media network. I've now done my business. Money animates down into my ad wallet. Now I have $10 in my ad wallet. $10 on ad wallet is a very important number because at $10, you get to cash out. 
You can let it run for a million dollars, but you have to have at least ten dollars and it becomes your money. Once you have ten dollars, I can hit redeem. I can push it directly to my checking account, my PayPal account. I can make it a gift card, a $10 gift card to one of 25 retail retailers that we have now participating, or I can donate it to a local charity. If I push that $10 to a local charity, the charity emails me back, thanks for a $10 donation, here's your receipt. This is money that basically has been buzzing around our heads you've never actually really been aware of, because we all stopped paying attention to ads. Advertisers spend about $1,300 a year on the average American that you've never seen. This is about to fall out of the sky, in my opinion. Not only do you get the ad on AdWallet, you also have an opportunity to download an offer. I could download an offer for ad, you know, for Pampers Wipes if I'm in the market for Pampers Wipes. And AdWallet knows what you're in the market for because when you sign up, you give it your target criteria. So it's actually sending you ads that would be relevant to you and not sending you ads that wouldn't be relevant to you, which is fantastic for advertisers. We don't want to waste our money on someone who couldn't possibly be in the market for what we're, we're selling. Here on the advertiser side, oops, sorry, I got one word right through the midline there. This is what it looks like on an advertiser side. For an advertiser, you pay $1 every time someone actually sees your ad and answers the question correctly, that you know for sure they saw it. You can track every single thing on AdWallet, including the redemptions and downloads. So an advertiser, it's not just, oh, I know you saw it. It's, I know you downloaded the offer for Pamper Swipes, and I know you came in with your phone and redeemed the offer. I can follow that dollar all the way through the cycle, which you've never been able to do before. You receive detailed analytic reports in any of your campaign. AdWallet automatically emails advertisers a full analytic report at the end. This is the percentage of people who live in 87122 Slider Ad. This is the percentage that were men, women, men who like cats, women who like yoga, on and on and on. Because again, they gave us all that information because they wanted an ad that was targeted to them. You can run an ad for a, as little as $250 on AdWallet. Again, this is all automated, and I'm gonna show you. When you go to our website, you can literally sign up as an advertiser, you put the targets you want, you upload your ad, you select when it starts, when it ends, you upload your coupon, and you let it go. You don't need a fancy advertising agency, you don't need Don Draper, you don't need Adam Greenhood. You basically can do this from your laptop, if you own a coffee shop, if you own a donut shop, or you have a million dollars. This is what AdWall looks like if you go to the AdWall website on your phone. Basically, you're gonna get, get, get to know AdWall, watch ads, make money, let's go, click the button. It already knows whether or not you have an Apple phone or a Droid, and you're off to the races. We launched AdWallet 12, seven days ago, and we have just over 1,200 users now. You should be seeing our ad campaign. Ironically, we're advertising AdWallet on all the advertising mediums that I have issues with. <laughs> we want to advertise the end of advertising on advertising as well. Um, but this is a total pivot in my industry. I believe this is going to disrupt my entire industry, because my entire industry is built on the reverse premise of this. So far, i found that people Yesterday we didn't send an ad out and I got a bunch of texts saying, where's my ad? I didn't get my ad today, where's my ad? I was like, seven days ago, no one on planet Earth ever said that. that <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, my team is here, uh, Janae, she is literally my get shit done director. Her, her business cards say that, yes, for real? Yeah. Yeah, this is Valerie. Valerie's our director of sales. So she handles, uh, you know, with clients. And like I said, if you are as small as a coffee shop, you can go on here, set up your own campaign, don't need any help. For as little as $250, for our more enterprise clients, Valerie means in and can white glove you all the way through. Um, any questions? If it was that six minutes, it probably wasn't six minutes. Well, don't forget. <laughs> yes. Oh, right. Uh, question. So we have a couple of questions. Obviously, one of the things I'm going to ask is that you all download AdWallet. Well, not so the question. That's not the question. You were talking about you wanted input on expanding into other right. places. Right, so my, 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 my real question is, um, AdWallet is designed as a beta test here in Albuquerque and in, really in New Mexico for the next three months. We're testing it out, seeing how it works, seeing how it doesn't work. Even in the last week, we've been able to tweak a lot on AdWallet. It's amazing when you have a thousand people trying something, you get little, like, oh, that'd be smarter, that'd be better, so we're, it's constantly sort of evolving itself. But our goal is by next year to, trans to basically expand out of New Mexico and this to scale nationally, frankly. So my question is, now that all of you have kind of heard AdWall's pitch and are probably getting your heads around it, I would love to know some insights as to how would you best see getting out of New Mexico, staying in New Mexico, AdWall would be based in New Mexico, but basically scaling outside of our state, because I think this idea could work anywhere. Thank you.